Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about all the ways that you can gain agent points on horse for free and also some of the ways that you can purchase them. So I'm going to start off with the most effective method, the one that I use the most, how I get large amounts of agent points. Um, now when I was really highly competitive I used to agent point hunt every single day. And to agent point hunt all it means is that you're looking after horses each day and when you wake them up there's a chance to find an agent point. So you can see down here you find one agent point to use on the horse of your choice. So as you're going through here and waking up horses for the first time each day, there's a chance that you can find an agent point. Now this is a perfect example of a horse that I cannot find an agent point on, and there's a reason for this. This Morpheus Arms. A horse that has a Morpheus Arms cannot find agent points when they're woken up. So you could try and farm agent points from a farm full of Morpheus Arms horses and you'd never get an agent point, okay? So when you're agent point hunting, this is one here that's just found it, it has to have no Morpheus arms. So this is a foal that's literally just found us an agent point and it is incremented. Now there's a couple of things I just want to quickly mention with this. You need to make sure that you put your horses to bed if you want to agent point hunt them the next day, okay? Because if you don't put them to bed, they'll not wake up again the following day. You can't go back to the same horse repeatedly expecting it to find an agent point. Once you've woken it up, it's woken up. Now, in terms of making agent point hunting most efficient, the first 1,000 horses that you wake up in your account give you a chance to find an agent point, okay? So, after that first 1,000 horses that you've cared for, you're not going to find any more agent points. So, I had this goal back on my UK account uh, to get 1,000 horses, all with a Philosopher's Stone. And the reason for this was, um, if I had immortal horses, then I didn't have to feed them, and I didn't have to do cares, because their health would drop, but they'd never die. And there was a second item. The Hypnos Blanket, because this means I don't have to board them in an equestrian centre, and that saves me more money. So I don't have to feed them, and I don't have to board them, but I can use them to farm agent points. So if we go through here, I've got... This is a horse now that isn't immortal yet, but I do have a Philosopher's Stone that I can use. Um, I use Philosopher's Stones that I get from promotions to do this. Some horses I buy in as immortals as well and uh, in order to get the hypnos blankets um, you can use the divine frost if you don't you don't even have to own frost actually so I'm gonna just get my frost divine so you can see it so if we go in here here's the frost divine so the frost divine has an interesting little perk so um, when you go to the page of a frost you can have a chance to win a hypnos blanket so we need to go to the public page so you don't even have to own this divine so if we go to her public page and we click defrost, um, there's a chance that you might get a hypnos blanket. Now I've already defrosted a frost on the UK server today, so I can't do that. It's rare that I personally find a hypnos blanket this way, but it is a way that you can do it. I mostly get them from promotions, sometimes in trades as well. But uh, that's a divine that's quite useful in that respect. So I'm just going to go back to some of my horses here. Um, so in my miscellaneous here, I have... Uh, let's have a look. Right, I need to make sure they don't have a Morpheus Arms. They're immortal. So I've got 779 in there. I also have some more in here. So I have reached my thousand. Um, and if I go through and care for those, some of them don't have a Hypnos Blanket just yet. But it's a really good way to agent point hunt because it's super efficient. You don't have to feed them. You don't have to board them. You can just, you know do the most basic basic care with them which is personally why I do it and if you're short on time I think personally that this is the most effective method um, there are some other things that people do some people have dual purpose ones some people will have horses that they train I actually did used to do that as well where I had a big farm of horses which I would train each day a little bit and they would also find me agent points because they didn't have Morpheus arms um, I also had a pass farm at one time where I would care for my horses and age them up just each day. I would not use any agent points on them. I would just gradually care for them and that also would find me agent points as well. But if you are really strapped on time and you want it to be as efficient as possible and you just want to be able to click two buttons at max or one even, then in this particular case, if you have VIP, this is a, a perk that I have here. So this is automatic betting. So that's why it's letting me do that. Then I just have to click, 
click groom with these and then go to the next horse and click groom and go to the next horse and click groom and go to the next horse and if you've seen my video on a thousand fast ap hunters or if you haven't go check that out because that goes into more detail on this um so that's agent point hunting and obviously there is some people would say that the chances in terms of getting agent points i am going to just clarify this because you care for a thousand horses each day if you manage to get that money that does not mean you're going to get a thousand agent points i used to care for a thousand horses every single day for many many months and out of that i usually saw about 10 percent of that so usually about 100 agent points a day sometimes 120 and this can vary a little bit so personally i usually think it's around 10 percent but you know it might be better for you some days and worse for the other days. Some days I, I came away with less than um, 100. But there's a nice little divine that can help you with this. And this is Shanma. We're going to talk about Shanma. So Shanma, when you wake Shanma up, Shanma has a little perk that sometimes activates. It doesn't always activate. We haven't been lucky today. But if you own Shanma, then you have 1.5 times more chance to find agent points when horses wake up on the same day as when the bonus is triggered. So this is great because if you have a thousand horses to hunt or maybe less than that, whenever you wake Shanma up and then that bonus is triggered, then you have a higher chance of finding agent points on the horses that you wake up for the rest of the day. So Shanma is the first horse that I wake up on my account whenever I'm going to agent point hunt. Like, that is literally, this is the first horse that I will wake up on my account if I am aging point hunting that day. And really, you should probably do it anyway. This should be your horse that you always go to if you own this horse. It's a fantastic little divine. Now, from my own personal experience, I find that foals are actually one of the best ways to collect agent points. Just because they seem to sometimes have a little bit more of a chance to find them. But at the same time, they're not the most efficient because foals are only foals for a short period of time. So unless you're breeding a lot of foals all the time, it's really a waste of your time specifically having a foal AP hunting farm because they're not going to be foals for very long. So this is why I prefer to either have a really uh, tailored AP farm where my horses have a uh, philosopher's stone and a headless blank and I only have to two, click two buttons. One to groom them if I have VIP because it'll automatically bed them and then the next, you know, the button to go to the next horse. If you don't obviously have the automatic bedding, you're going to have to click groom and put them to bed. And then this one. So it's one extra button, but it's not really a big deal in that respect. So the next little divine that I want to mention is Hemfraxy. Now, if you own a Hemfraxy, it collects dewdrops every time you wake up. So you can just see there as I've woken it up, it's collected some dewdrops. And whenever the dewdrops reach 100, you can click on a button um, on the interface of the divine. And when you do that, okay... When he is bedded, Hemphraxi leaves a few drops of dew behind him. When you've collected enough dew drops, you have the possibility of winning as many agent points as horses you took care of during the day with a maximum limit of 100. Now, here's something that's very important to note. You need to make sure that you care for the horses before you collect from this divine. Because if you look after 10 horses, and then you go to Hemphraxi and you click collect, it'll only give you 10 agent points. Because you only looked after 10 horses. Um, so make sure that you have looked after 100 horses before you ever click, click on the collect button once um, he has reached 100 on this uh, selection here. So the next thing I want to talk about is receiving agent points from friends as a gift. Now I'm going to go into a little bit more detail because I know this has confused people in the past. So you can give your friends three items from the shop per week and this includes agent points. To use the feature, you and your friend must have more than 10 days of seniority, and you may only give away one item to the same friend per week, okay? And to visit uh, your friend's page to gift items from the shop. So basically what you do is you go to community and you click friends. Then you select the friend that you want to send an agent point to, okay? So we click give an item, we click on various, select agent points, and then click give. Now when we do this, you might be thinking, oh my goodness, we're going to give all away, give away all of these agent points. You're not, it's just going to give one away. So if we go on to my office page, and it says you give the uh, the item agent points. So it's only going to give one. It's not really a great way to get agent points because it's only one, and only one per week. The other thing I'm just going to say is don't pester people to give you agent points. People don't appreciate it, and some people will report you for doing it. Um, so only ask a friend for an agent point if you know that they're going to be okay about it. Another way that you can get 
free agent points is from UFOs, which will bounce around the screen, and when you click on them, um, you can earn up to six agent points. I've never received more than six. Uh, typically, it's between one and six agent points that you'll get from these. If you get a UFO on the screen that you don't want, like say carrots or a bridal, just don't click on it and just refresh the page and wait a little while, and you might be lucky to get um, a another uh, pay UFO pop up. Personally, I don't click on them if they're not agent points because I just don't want the other stuff. Another way to get agent points is to visit the page of a player who has customized UFOs. So if we go onto page here and we click customized UFOs and we click add, we can go in here and configure our UFOs. We can select agent points, we can select how many, and we can uh, click the probability and we can make it uh, better or worse. So once we click activate, uh, whenever, if we just refresh the page really quick, okay, now people who visit my page have a chance to find an agent point. So look for players that have uh, customized UFOs, especially ones with the agent points on their pages. Horse promotions are another really good place to get agent points, and this is probably the second biggest place that I personally find agent points from. Um, on the first board here at the minute, if we get to 15 points, we'll get five agent points. And uh, there's agent points currently available in uh, chess on this particular promotion. You can see here, and uh, here as well. Um, and then we've also got them available as prizes for completing boards. So agent points and promotions are really quite a good source as well. If you happen to be on a server that has the Archimedes Divine, Archimedes Divines can actually give you one agent point per day. So if you go into Community, Directories, and then Horses, and then type in Archimedes and click Show Only Special Horses. Then you can go in and choose one of the Archimedes Divines. Now, when you go to the page of the Archimedes Divine, it gives you a question to answer. So, a stall cannot be made from which material? Wood, galvanized steel, heavy wood, aluminium, or wax? Now, we're going to go with my wax. We're going to answer that. And you've given the correct answer and therefore made the horse more intelligent, you win an agent point. So, if you get the question right, then you get an agent point. If you get it wrong, then you don't get an agent point, And you can't answer another question from a different Archimedes. So my advice is if you're going to do this and get uh, an agent point once per day from an Archimedes, go through the different Archimedes that are in the directories tab and find a question that you know the answer to. There are some black market items that will also give you agent points. Now I'm going to mention four in particular. One of them is the Horn of Plenty. Another one is the Golden Fleece. There's also the Titan's Challenges. Now those three are all sort of gambling items you know when you open them there's a chance that you could get agent points out of them and other items um, they're not personally a way that i would advise trying to get agent points from consistently because it'll be, become very expensive so if you're opening hops or golden places or titans challenges maybe to win a divine or in a promotion or something like that that's fine you might get a couple of extra agent points on top of other things that you're doing there but it's not an efficient way of getting the agent points so the last one I want to mention is the piece of cloud. Now every time you give a horse a piece of cloud, it will get younger by four months and you will also earn two agent points. Personally, this is not an efficient way to gain agent points. I only use pieces of cloud when I am scaling horses. Therefore, I am scaling them for a different purpose. It's not a way that I specifically use to get agent points because it's very expensive. So we mentioned Shanma and him Fraxy earlier and I want to talk about just a few divines that can also find you agent points outside of them being woken up. So basically, Amira is one of the legendary horses. On a certain day, she might hide and she makes a UFO appear on the day she is hidden. The luckiest players will win a Cronus Timer or piece of cloud from this UFO. All other players will receive agent points, sound or energy. So in the past, I have won agent points on the days that she has been hidden. Now the next set of horses I want to talk about is the Wind Divines, okay? So I only have Ficarus personally, but uh, basically down here, once the Tempest is over, you can get one of these prizes once uh, the Wind Force reaches 100%. And the another surprise, I have on occasion got an Agent Point rather than the Chronos Timer and the Diamond. It's very, very rare, but it is one that I just wanted to mention. So the next one is Thoth. This is one of the Egyptian Divines, not a horse that I personally own. So he will offer you one treasure when he wakes up each day. By scratching the treasure chest, you have a chance to win a Hermes Wing Staff, an Agent Point, or skill points. So this is a divine that you can get agent points from. The next one I mention is the Celtic Divine Lug. This is one that I also don't own. And uh, when you find all five Omic letters from their prediction by using their powers of divination every day, you have completed the prediction. You will either get a day, a slide, a boat, a lunch, or five agent points. So this is another divine that you can get agent points from. So the last way I want to mention is buying agent points. So if you go into trade and then you click on shop, you go down to the various here and you click on agent points. 
Um, you can buy agent points with diamonds and you can buy them with passes. So one diamond will give us one agent point, one pass will give us 20, three passes will give us 70, and 10 passes will give us 300 agent points. Now earlier on I mentioned that buying agent points from um, the likes of the piece of cloud was kind of a waste of time. The reason for this is a piece of cloud costs you a pass. A piece of cloud will give you two agent points. If we were to just use a pass here, we would get 20 agent points. And whenever I open hops and titans challenges and golden fleeces, I don't typically tend to get more than this amount. So I think if you just want to buy some agent points, just go in there and buy them that way. Because um, I think you get more value for your money. Um, this is not something I advise doing. I think personally you're better just agent point hunting, which was the first thing I mentioned in the video. But it's something you can do if you're really, really stuck. Anyway, scrubs, I hope you have found this video helpful. Um, I hope you had a lovely day. Oh, bye guys!